Bijan Robinson lining up at receiver during Falcons minicamp. We'll say what? Everyone's excited to see what these Atlanta Falcons do with him. Matthew Hamilton here for another edition of music? Yeah. Time. Where's Winkler? <laughs> Winkler's people said no, I think. We couldn't get him to record that. I asked the question, is Arthur Smith a mad genius? Taking a running back eighth overall in 2023. That's a pretty bold move. Yeah. Especially when you have two guys in the backfield that already had a thousand plus yard teams. What do we got? Yeah, so you saw us. in that video right there, the route running skill, the pass catching ability from Bijan. But I think there's another element to all of this too. That's like a triple sow cow. Yeah. In Arthur air. Smith, we've seen over the years, he loves hybrid players. Cordero Patterson being the most famous example. He moved from wide receiver to running back in 2021. But there was another guy that he had last year, Avery Williams that he used at running back. He was a cornerback in Deep college. Pull. And I think this gives a little window, the way they used him into the unique way that the Falcons might deploy Bijan this season beyond just as a tailback and pass catcher. There's Avery at, at wing back right there. Cordero Patterson in the backfield at tailback. You're gonna see Williams come in motion here for a jet sweep. They'll fake back to Patterson the other way. They leave the end unblocked, okay. knowing that Williams can outrun that angle. And what that does, it gives you two tight ends out in front to lead block. Extra blockers out in front by leaving the unblocked man. You see Williams turn the corner, pick up a big gain. I think we're gonna see a bunch of this out of Bijan when he lines up in that slot receiver position. And then you'll see what else that does for you here. Same exact formation, Williams at wing back, Cordero at tailback in the backfield. This time, they're, the jet motion comes again, but they're not giving it to Williams. But look at what that action does. It forces the defense to have to widen. They leave the end unblocked again. And look at the lane that's created for Cordero. He's able to explode for a 40 yard gain on so that play. So fun. And when you can have multiple running backs on the field and create all this misdirection, all the stuff you have to worry about, Bijan as a pass catcher, and on those jet sweeps, it creates a lot of confusion for the defense. After seeing this tape, and I have not thought about Avery <laughs> ever, uh, <laughs> it's almost like we should have seen this coming. So you and I kept saying Bijan to the Eagles, but mm -hmm. we, they've they've had multiple halfbacks a lot, right? Yeah. They've yeah. done this. It's as if we were not really. I'm seriously though. Yeah, no, it's true. There, there were this, there were signs there. They ran guys on 55.3 percent of plays, the second highest clip in the league behind the Bears, and they did, you know, have more, really, really more than any other team multiple halfbacks on the field at the same time. What else you got? Yeah, and there's also the other more obvious component here to him lining up at receiver, which is him running routes and catching the ball. Let's take a look. So I wanted to take a look at what that might look Ooh, at too. Oh, fun! So look at this. This is from last year. The Falcons have two running backs on the field right now. Tyler Algier up top, Avery Williams in the We're slot. An and they're Williams in an, show. They're in an empty backfield okay. with two running backs on the field. So here it's a third and long. You see the three Falcons to the bottom, three Bucks defenders over them. They're just going to run a screen to Williams. And you'll see as he catches this, safety Mike Edwards is 20 yards off the ball. They have two blockers out in front. So you create that much space. Avery Williams is able to get them close to the first down, but you get the ball in that type of situation to a generational type of talent in Bijan. You, you might be able to that. house some of those. You I believe really he is do. that. I really do. Where so, am I drafting him in fantasy? He's a first round pick. Absolutely. Offensive rookie of the year. I think so. Let's take a look at the odds, guys. Offensive rookie of the year is here. Because it all works out. I mean, first of all, the value of the running back is going to rise. But he's the favorite at plus 300. Yeah, and if you put him in these positions like we saw, those plays that we saw for Avery Williams start to become Bijan's plays, we're going to see something really special and something that we haven't really seen at the NFL level before. Oh, I'm taking JSN all the way. <laughs> Are you joking? JSN to the house for that value. We'll be back. Great hammer time. <gasps> did you hear about Henry Winkler? I'll I tell did. you in the break. I'll tell you in the break. We'll be back. Great one.